Welcome back, uh, F1 fans. This week, our, we'll be talking about uh, the latest F1 race in Australia here on Two Car Guys. So, John, I know you watched the race, right? Yes, sir. At so, 12 at night. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. I did not stay up to watch it. I fell asleep, but I woke up early in the morning and watched it. Um, so but, I started uh, the race watching yeah. it, and then I fell asleep. And then I woke up <laughs> to some interesting drama in the track, I guess. And, uh, I mean, we could go into kind of an overview of the race if you want. Yeah, so, okay, all right, so, uh, you know, breaking news, right? Uh, uh, Red Bull yeah. didn't have a 1-2. Max Verstappen didn't win an F1 race. I mean... Yeah, that's big news, man. It is that big is, news. Is, I, I'm I'm not I'm not happy about it, but I am happy about it because it, it, it gives some drama and makes it not so bland and predictable. I mean, but, I'm not um, happy. <laughs> I know you're not happy about it, but, I mean... Carlos science that that might be the the story of the weekend the guy's got his appendix removed and yet he comes out on top and wins the race unbelievable right it makes you want to go right out and just have him take your appendix out you're gonna be faster and better at everything after that (laughs) had mine removed at 12 maybe that's how i got here today (laughs) i mean i'm not gonna lie uh did is is there like an fia rule against that isn't he lighter than all the other drivers did you see the fi statement that everybody was putting out that was like a fake statement that was like no, hey I didn't, um i didn't see yeah, that yeah so there was like a fake statement jessica was reading it to me earlier and it's like hey um you know he came in 0.73 ounces or something uh under the weight limit of the <laughs> f1 driver in the car uh due to the loss of appendix you know just happened to be the same <laughs> weight as his appendix right yeah yeah oh my god exactly man but, but i mean two weeks in a row well you know not two races in a row it's been Ferrari has been the talk of the town, right? You got Ollie Behrman and Ollie. I'm pulling for Ollie. That kid is so cool. I've seen him on a couple uh, interviews. He seems like a really good guy. And, and to be as young as he is step into that car and do what he did is That's unreal. Awesome, right. It's awesome. In Jetta. It's wild. And then he turns yeah. around, they turn around, you know, and, and science gets back in the car and wins the race in in Australia. That blew my mind. Awesome. 16 days, I think, after he had his surgery. Yeah. 16 yeah. days after I had my appendix removed. I remember I was still in a bed, bro. Dude, I stubbed <laughs> my toe 16 days ago, and I still I still walk funny. He posted a video today riding a bike. Mm-hmm. Bro, like, what? Super. I mean, I, don't know. I mean, to be fair, though, that's his job, right? Yeah. So, ultimately, that's his job. And, you know, but crazy 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 i could not get over that but um max let's talk about max real quick right so uh uh, max leads going out of the out of turn one right thank god we made into turn one with no accidents right yeah we go into turn one you can already see carlos uh having a look right having a look down them down the inside just trying to figure out when he's going to go around max right Carlos yeah. gets DRS, passes him like he's standing still, right? Which was weird for the for the the Red Bull. And yeah. then all of a sudden we see smoke. And and if you're listening to the announcers, the announcers are like, oh, it's engine trouble. And I was like, no, the exhaust is in the middle. It's coming from the right side of the car. Well, he even said like he came into the turn and he's like, I felt the car loose. And then all of a sudden it's like he's you see the smoke and you're like, oh, come on, no. Yeah. <laughs> it just yeah. Oh, now, man. to be fair, uh, a lot of people horrible. felt their car loose, but it was because they had so much downforce on the front wing trying to prevent graining on the tires this race, right? Y- yeah. And so everybody was kind of being a little loose in the rear end. But, yeah, that was that, crazy. That's a and then, very fast track, too. I mean, that is a fast track. It is. Now, did you did yeah. you notice, like on the replay, did you notice the explosion as he was going in the pit, that big black cloud yeah, that, was that a flew tire. out of the side? Yeah. Yeah, it just it melted it and blew it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, that was wild. They were showing some images of like the brake, you know, and the biscuit tin around the brake and everything, and it was just demol melted, melted. Yeah. It was unbelievable. So what they're thinking is that he may have had a tear off in the brake duct and picked it up right at the beginning of the race. Uh, I don't I mean, know how, but yeah, that that's 
you know, there was nobody in front of him until until Carlos went by. Race. I guess it could have been, yeah. Um, well, but, but then didn't the Alpine have a tear off in the brake duct? Correct. Yeah, they pulled him in, and he was having uh, issues as well, and it ended up being a tear off in the brake yeah. duct. So it's possible that that's the same thing that happened with Max, because I mean that car has been tremendously reliable yep. this year, last year. I mean, this is the first time he's had a DNF for for a failure. So yeah, it's been it's been a minute. Um, been and then Lewis, right? Yeah. Lewis goes out. Yeah, and in that one, in like, such instant. undramatic fashion. Yeah, it's like he's going. He's like lost the engine. It's off. Right, and sure enough, it just came apart and just <laughs> switched like, off. I mean, yeah. it just it there wasn't like there wasn't like any you know oil drips or explosions or anything. Yeah, it's just like he like he turned the key off. and was like I'm done. I'm out. How about <laughs> Sauber having another crazy pit stop? Three I mean, races in a row. Three races in a row. Have they not figured out how to pull a wheel nut off? And no, then they, they, said, they said that they knew that there was an issue going into it with, with the wheel nuts. Well, what are you doing doing it? It's, I, I mean, I, I guess. I don't know, man. That's crazy, man. They, they've they got to get that figured out. That is an unreal unreal pit stop. That killed Botas's race. He oh, was yeah. on a killer of a race. Yeah. In the points. Had the chance to be in the points. And... They just killed it right there. Yeah, they're killing it. Wild. Now, but, now, there's two other things I want to talk about. But before we get there, can you even wrap your mind around the fact that the only person to beat Max last year was Carlos Sainz, right? Yep. The only person to win other than Red Bull this year is Carlos Sainz. Yeah, man. The dude does not have a seat for next year blows my mind that, that that's the case I, I, it's gonna change very very soon i mean that's it, gonna it will but just what yeah and i mean crazy. the guy the guy is at the top of his game right now and he doesn't have a yep. seat for next year dude what if he wins the championship oh like my god something I'd, I'd happens freak out. and that'd be awesome the championship like the one driver that started the champ started the season without a ride next year wins, wins the championship that'd be awesome bro that would be i'd be pulling for is, him I'd be that pulling like, for him. Yeah, that'd be sick, man. That'd yeah. Sick. So but, two other things, right? So there was a record set on Sunday. Do you know what it is? I don't know. I'm so the record that, that was set on Sunday, you're wearing the you're wearing the shirt. McLaren? Yes. Lando Norris. Lando Norris now has the most podium finishes at 14 without a a win. Yeah. Yeah. Without a yeah. first place podium. That's a so I'm sure it's a, I'm sure it's a record. He's... I guess that's why I didn't keep that one in my mind, you know. <laughs> I'm sure it's statistic. a record that he does not want to have. <laughs> um and yeah. I, I think I think he'll win. I, I definitely think he'll win. I, I think he'll go um, you know, and maybe even some point this year that the McLarens look really good. Yeah. I mean, they're you on tra- I mean, they're still a great lineup. They just they gotta put it down on the race. They're they're doing yeah. well getting uh, qualifying down, but they've got to get the race going. Did you hear the like shock in his voice when they were like, "Did you pit Piastri?" Yeah, yeah. He was like, because he he just he was kind of like blown away that they already that they undercut him with Piastri. That was that was really really weird. Well, they they also did the switch. They did the let switch, him have yeah. let him have the win the yep. well, the you know third place. But so yeah. okay, so the other bit bit uh, uh, the other bit of big news. Okay, Yuki Sonoda and Daniel Ricciardo. Ooh, right. The yeah. last race we saw Yuki be real childish and dive bomb him at the end of the race, right? Yeah. And here we are. Ricardo's picking up the rear. He's in the back, and Yuki's up front. What's your take on that? Like, what do you? I mean, it, what do you feel about that? Well, they there was a thing released today, and I saw it on I think NBC Sports had released this. So that kind of I mean, it sounds like a decent enough uh, place for it to come from. But they're saying that Ricardo has two races to figure out uh, if he's going to be replaced by Liam Lawson if he doesn't get his crap together. I mean, and then they look, had a comparison of track times between Yuki Sonoda and Liam Law, not Liam Lawson, uh, DeVries, and then Daniel Ricardo and. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So it's not looking good. I'll say this: Rick. they're in a they're in a good place. I mean, they have more drivers than they have seats available, yeah. and and 
I, I like Liam Lawson. I think he's a really good, I think he's another good dude that, that would be a great addition to F1. Just his backstory, you know, all the stuff, yeah. all the stuff, his attitude, everything. I think he's a really good driver. Um, and, everybody and loves was, Danny Rick, man. That's the thing. Yeah, so that's here's, the, the, here's the thing, right? And I heard somebody else say this, so I, I don't want to take credit for it, but you know, maybe it's time. Right. Maybe yeah. it's time you kind of take a step back and, and he, and he does like his own, I mean, he's so popular. If he did his own, you know, driving series or something like that, people would follow the crap out of it. Look, man, I don't want to see him like Gunther Steiner on, on TV for that aspect, oh. man. I want to see him behind the wheel. I want to see him do well. So I got to be on Danny Rick, get it together, buddy. <laughs> I like Gunther. Comment I really below. do. Tell us You're what right. you think, you know, about, the whole Gunther show and Danny Rick. Like we need to know if he's going to, if he should stay in F1. I think he should. For yeah. Now. So, so that's a good point, John. T tell us who you think should be in F1 right now in the, in the seat. Should it be Danny Rick? Should we give him, you know, should they give him the rest of the year to figure it out? Cause he's, he's def he definitely having some issues with the car. Should it be Liam Lawson? I think they're, they're too quick to make the switch. Uh, Red Bull's known for it. You know, yeah, they're, they're known to be like, to hey, switch. look, <clears throat> two races ago, you just started looking pretty rough. Uh, you know, sorry. Thank you. for. Hey, your time. it happened and with it Gasly. Happened. Yep. Right. Albon. It happened with Alex Albon. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, the list goes on, man. <laughs> it's yeah. a strong list. I mean, it happened with Kvyat. It started with Kvyat. Yeah. So let's go way back. You know, so, I mean, they're quick. They're quick. If you don't perform, to, it's yeah. a high pressure seat. If you don't perform, you're gone. Yep. Right. I mean, what was crazy though was when they got rid of Gasly and then he like finished ahead of them. Remember that? I think he won the race yeah. that season. Well, and I was like, yeah. man, that that's that's rough. Yeah, yeah. And then the you know it was all questionable about, about Albon. It was it was good to see him get the seat, and then it just kind of like, ooh, it wasn't great for him. Him and him and um um Hamilton uh, like to touch wheels a good bit. <laughs> like he'd be second to the. Like finishing second guaranteed, and Hamilton be like, uh, nope. "No, <laughs> <laughs> man." I, but, yeah. you know, it was funny to hear, um, to hear, you know, Christian Horner come on the radio and be like, uh, "He just doesn't like you." Yeah, yeah. I mean, but yeah, you know, but yeah. In my mind, I think Danny Rick should at least have the seat. We'll see what the next two races do. He has not been able to you know, really just put it together. Um, he, I agree. Qualifying I, or the race. So, you know, you know I was so excited for him to yeah. return last year and then he hurt himself right out of the gate, you know, yeah. and then Liam Lawson stepped in and, and I enjoyed watching Liam, Liam Lawson. And, you know, now we got Danny Rick back. I think he's a phenomenal personality. I think he's a great driver. I don't know why he's having such a struggle with a car. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll see if he can get it together on the next race. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the last bit of business, right. We're, we'll talk about is, and, and there's been heated debate today. Heated. Absolutely. I was, I was on Instagram with a couple of people going back and forth on this. I have shown people, including strangers, the video to get their to get their take on it. Um, yeah. we'll clip the video in here so everybody can see what we're talking about. But, uh, there was an incident and, and I didn't even catch it until I read the after report. Um, you know, when I, when I turned the race off, Fernando was in fifth. Yeah. Right. Or yeah. Fifth. Right. Yeah. And, so and he I was finished like, the oh, race I'll take fifth. it. <clears throat> yeah. He, he finished, finished the race. race yeah. He finished the race in fifth and then he ended up in what? Eighth, right? Eighth. Yeah. After the, after the penalty. Yeah. That he should. And, and I was like, what? I was like, what penalty? Right. So <laughs> for those of you who haven't seen it, like I said, we're going to we're going to show you guys what it is. I, please comment below and yes. tell us what you think. Right. Yeah. And and look at it objectively, because I've seen it from above and I've seen it from behind and I've seen it from in front of of Russell. And it just looks like he's coming up on on Fernando and just like veers off. He's not so, close. It doesn't look like he's going to hit him. I've even seen it with the data graph, like where you break down like what Fernando was doing at the time of the accident. Right. right? But does it matter? No. But it's not damning. 
right? It's not like he slammed on the brakes and dropped no. the bro- dropped the speed by like forty miles an hour. He dropped it a good bit. Uh, he, now, he but did. he dropped it what thirty kilometer, twenty kilometers, something like that. I mean, something it's, like that. But he's still defending the position. So right. in in my he's mind, not you moving got a under faster braking. car behind you. He's not moving under braking. He's literally just easing off putting him in an uncomfortable position, which any driver would do at that point in time. Right. And then he kind of is going to take off and run the straight and hoping that, uh, you know, Russell can't keep up with him on the straight. That's the plan. And he did everything right. Russell, uh, over, I guess he didn't see him slowing down. And then when he did, it was like, Oh, too late. And then he took off in the rocks. That's a put it in the rock, man. But see, the thing is he did this last year. He did it in the wall. Right, it, he it did happens. it with Botas when he was running for when he was trying to get into Mercedes in the first place. This is not unique to the situation. Yeah, and this is also um, on the last lap. Yeah, it's it's been consecutively on the on the last lap that he's under too much pressure. I think I don't know, but I, to I penalize so. another driver for defending the position, no, shouldn't do. It. I think it's crap. He didn't try. He didn't swerve in front of him. He didn't try to hit him. Yep. You know, he didn't cut him off. He he at most slowed down and yep. and Russell panicked. I mean, I don't I don't yeah. agree with that at all. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's a couple points, but it's yeah. the it's the the precedent that the FIA is setting here. Yeah. It's saying that basically you can't defend your position. You can't slow down. You know, you can't slow down and try and and try and you know race down the straight to hit the next turn. Because yeah. the fact is Russell was, you know. 0.5, 0.6 of a second away and wasn't make even with DRS, he wasn't making up the distance. Yeah. And if you're going to go for a move on Fernando, wouldn't you be off to one side, not directly under his gearbox? Agreed. And both of them put out a statement and I really liked Alonzo's response talking about older races and things that he did in older races and yeah. how that would have been in older drivers and how they would have reacted and things like that. And this younger generation, maybe just maybe should take a take a little looky in that book and see you know i agree i i don't know i'm i'm like i said i didn't find out about it until i started reading some of the after reports and i was like what is happening how did we get here you know i didn't even know he was penalized jessica told me and i'm like i didn't know he was penalized either that's the the problem oh my god garbage yeah garbage (laughs) garbage anyways Garbage. Yeah. And and for those of you watching, don't let the Aston Martin shirt fool you, right? I mean, I'd be like <laughs> this if it was anybody. I think it's I think it's a weird a weird thing that happened. Yeah, I mean, look, we might be wearing Aston Martin and McLaren gear most of the time, but it's it, we we I like Russell. I, I'd like to see Russell do well uh, in I would that too. position. Uh, I, you know, I think he should have took that one. It was on him. I I will say that. Russell has shown to be a, a really good team player in some instances. Like remember when he was uh, you know, paired up with uh Gotifi? Yeah. And uh, you know, he was basically positioning himself in the Williams car to help Nick yeah. get get in the points, right? I mean, he's shown like glimmers of that and 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 that side of him I really like. But some of the stuff when he's just kind of like you know, complaining a lot about stuff. I'm just like, I'm out. I'm I've gotten to but see, I was a happy few to see him have... win a couple of, uh, to what, two years ago. Yeah. And, and a couple of them have gotten to where like when they've gotten a little bit better car, they've become more of a diva. Like, you know, yeah. it's like they, when the car was crap, they're like, Hey, you know, like, I like this dude, like he's going to do something. And then he gets in a good car and he's like, it's the car. The car's crap. Everything's crap. It's not me. <laughs> no, sir. It's you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's the one in the mirror. <laughs> maybe it's you, buddy. Maybe it's you. Yeah. So um, I don't know if you realize and we'll kind of wrap it up on this. But um, yeah. if you looked at the at when Carlos won, when Carlos Sainz won and he pulled into the first position, two right. things. One, when he was getting out of his car on the pain. side pod that has the camera, yeah. there was a tear off wrapped around it. Did oh, you notice it? that? I yeah. did not notice that. Yeah, so go back and look. There's a tear off wrapped yeah. around it. So these tear offs are are definitely dangerous. You know, they're getting sucked into the engine and into the wheels and all this stuff. So, so don't let tear offs take out your race, people. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, it's a conspiracy. <laughs> but I'll tell you, you know, the amount of respect I have for for Carlos Science to get 
in the car to to run the race, lead yeah. the race, win the race. 16 days after major surgery, you know, yeah. where he had his appendix removed, right? Absolutely. Did you see him getting out of the car? Yeah. He was in pain. He that was the most gingerly person I've ever seen in my life. But he you know they barely, have to pass a test. They have to, to pass get a test in the to be car. able to get to get out of it. Right. Yeah, and they have to pass that test. So he had to pass that to get out of it in 10 seconds or less. Yeah. So imagine how painful that was. And then now he did, did a full stint in the car in first place, defending the position with a great yeah. strategy from Ferrari of all people. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, pulls Are it you off. surprised I'm they didn't like, bring like two I people just, in at the same time or something? Ooh, I'm surprised they didn't do something, man, like <sighs> double stack or, you know, say stay out on hards forever. You know, just do the race, <laughs> the whole thing on hards. You'll be fine. You know? Right. Borrow a donut from the from the yeah. car park, you know. Yeah. Hey, guys, uh, we found this in the back. Let's put it on the car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, I think, I I just, think it, was a, it was a great race, man. I was just uh, impressed. Even though there was some dull spots and I did take a little nap in the middle of it. Um, I went back, watched the highlights three times. So, yeah. you know, I, I got a little bit of it. But, yeah, no, it was an enjoyable race for sure. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the race a lot. And and uh, I'm looking forward to not this weekend. Next weekend is um, Japan. Yep. And so I'm I'm looking forward to that race. That'll be good. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, it's been great. This is a great conversation. Keep, let us know if y'all like the uh, Formula One stuff. And this is Two Car Guys signing off. See y'all later. See you later. <laughs>